Grace and Peace family, welcome to yet another episode of Faith Podcast. Of course, with me, your host, BP Hwede. This is the day that the Lord has made, for we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Now, let us welcome the Holy Spirit in our presence. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace, your favor, and your mercy. Direct our steps, O Lord. Allow us to speak from the heavenly wisdom and not the earthly wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and let everybody say, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for yet another episode of Faith Podcast. You could have been somewhere else doing something else, but you chose to be here with us and really appreciate your time and your effort. Make sure that you do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when we post new videos, you are notified so that you can watch and be blessed. We're coming at you live from Abba Father Headquarters where we fellowship with our Father in the Lord, Prophet Oscar Itumileng Moirana. Make sure that you catch him on Moms FM every Sunday preaching the Word of God. 92.9 Relevance Made Simple. That's the frequency if you are around Pretoria. I'm here with my sister in the Lord, Myra Skosan. Yes. Myra Skosan. I think I got that right. <laughs> how are you and how have blessed. you been? I'm blessed. I can never complain. You I'm are blessed. okay. I'm blessed. Wow. I'm more than okay. <laughs> I saw I saw your, your interview on G R D podcast. Yes, Kumoso. Uh, yes, 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 yes. How was how was that? How was the experience then? It was good, eh? Mm. Yeah, it was good. But you know Kumoto, he throws intelligent questions. Yeah. So yeah. You always have to think before mm. you say something. But it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm. I enjoyed it. No, it's it's it's, it's good, man. I think I first uh, got to know you when we're still there at the old church. Yeah, the no, old church. I think you came, was it on a Wednesday or Sunday? I can't remember. I, I always came on Sundays. On Sundays? Yeah, yeah. but it was, it would be special Sundays, like mm. maybe have an event of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, when I remember Kashi say, I always came on Sundays. Mm. Yeah. That's when I got to, you know, uh, uh, you sang a song, I can't recall it well, but it was just, it changed actually the the atmosphere in the building. And it should be oh how I miss you. Yeah. yeah. It changed like every the setup. It changed like the setup was like who oh, is okay. this lady <laughs> that sings so well? Thank you know, God. I think I got to know you at the time, then another time you also came in this new building. Yes. You know, you actually told us a story in the in that in that in that in that, you know, when you came, you know, about mm -hmm. you your being amputated and, and all yes. that stuff, you know. So uh before we get to other things, I just mm -hmm. want us to dwell on that because it's an education that actually needs to be heard by, by people. I think you actually especially get that question the church a lot. Folks, right? Right? The church folks, yeah, especially the church folks. Yeah. Because we tend to spiritualize everything and neglect the natural part. Yeah. You know, so I normally say I'm here to tell you mm. as a living testimony mm. Mm. that this is what um, you can prevent. Mm. You know, if you educate yourself about such things. Yeah. I love the Bible. It teaches us almost, I, I mean, everything about life. There's, exactly. a verse that, is it, there's a verse that says, is, is it First Corinthians? It says, everything is permissible for you. Mm. But not every, everything is available for you, but not everything is good for you. Yes. You know, mm. I normally mm. say, you have a choice mm. to eat part of the whole day. Yeah. However, part of the whole day is not good for you. Mm. So I... I I normally encourage people to educate themselves about health. Mm. Know your body. Know mm. what's going on in your bloodstream. Mm. Know your ve what is a vessel. What is a white copper cell. Mm. What are white copper cells? What are you know mm. red copper cells? Mm. How is my brain functioning? Mm. Know your genes. You yeah. know, study your genes from your family history. Mm. You know, if there's cancer in the family, mm. you know, if you have information, then you know what to do. Mm. You know, you can't pray about cancer if you don't know what yeah. cancer is. Yes, yes. You know, pray about cancer and, you know, break your spirit. Pray mm. about diabetes, break your spirit. Mm. But also take care of the natural part. Eat right, exercise, do this, do that. Drink, mm. drink a liters of water a day, you know. Mm. It helps with your skin. It helps with your with the blood mm. circulation. Yes. Take cayenne pepper. Mm. Drink that. Cayenne, cayenne pepper. I love it for circulation. Is it? That's the reason why I stopped taking, um, what do they call them, the aspirin. Mm. Yeah, that's the reason why I, I stopped taking aspirin. So cayenne pepper is the best one. It's, if, if you have uh, 
problem young people for some for some people it's it's not high blood pressure but one of the problem young clots are saying is clotting in the blood mm. so mm. you can take time get a mixed with ginger garlic take uh, one spoonful of calcium salt in the morning mm. with a glass of water and then you're good to go you will never have a problem with stress because i just pressure. normally have a pain on my leg that is an ongoing thing like underneath i think it's like piercings and whatnot i don't know what's going you on get that checked get that checked and once you you get that checked i'd, I'd advise you to follow barbara o'neill barbara o'neill and dr sadies mm -hmm. yeah they are medical doctors but they only use her natural herbs to heal mm -hmm. yeah the body it, it's not as quick as the medication that we, we are used to mm -hmm. but in time you, you know it will reverse a lot of diseases mm -hmm. you know so i, I normally encourage people to so do they have like um, a store where they sell their stuff no, it's a stuff that you know, stuff that you can get in shop, right? Your garlic, your ginger, is it? cayenne pepper, um, 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 cinnamon, mm, dates, mm, you can, yeah. you know? Yes. Yeah, it's stuff that you can get. Calcium salt you can get from any pharmacy, Himalayan salt. Mm. You know, it's it's not, you, you don't have to go to a specific shop. Mm. You can get kale, mm. that morocco, we call it uh, the Zimbabwean vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's onions everywhere, there's spinach everywhere. There's, you just have to know that oh, okay. uh, spinach has this amount of iron. This, if you take this, if you cook it this way, if you prepare it this this way, if mm -hmm. you're diabetic, stay away from um, your carbohydrates. What is carbohydrates? Bread, rice, sand, mm -hmm. potatoes have mm -hmm. a lot of carbohydrates. So, mm -hmm. what is sugar? You know, it's this and this stuff. Because carbohydrates, the body uses as sugar. Mm. Oil is sugar. Mm. You know, um, um, there are certain types of, of food we think that they're harmless, but they're very harmful. Mm. You know, um, I, I know a uh, lot people would normally say in moderation, mm. but you will see a whole lot of difference if you cut yeah. down mm. on a lot of things. Yeah, it's just it's just things that we have. Mm -hmm. But we're just used to eating mm. in a certain way. Mm. So the rest of time we'll kind of say, ah, it, it burns me, my tongue, it does this, it does that. But what, remember what, what no, Barbara O'Neill normally says, what's sweeter on the tongue? is sweeter to the body. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so mm. me, I don't eat kale, kale is not nice. Mm. You know, I don't <laughs> drink that. I don't, I don't take, what is that uh, plant that we, we have coming to? It's good for your lungs. Seen as They know. used to encourage people to drink it a lot during COVID time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just a simple plant. There is another one, Fitima chips. It's good for your teeth. If mm -hmm. there's an infection, mm -hmm. oral infection, you chew that thing, it's gone. Wow. The infection is gone. So it's just. just so natural stuff herbs that actually like help a lot, man. I think, you know what I normally say to myself? I think God created an answer for everything. Mm. You're just lazy to study and research. Mm. Yeah, it's just a, uh, uh, a question of research. Just research. Most definitely. Yeah, make your research about your own body. You discover a lot of things. You discover mm. a lot of things. And if you consume this amount of garlic a day, it helps with inflammation. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, uh, what's the solution for arthritis? It's still that it things that you have in the fridge in your in your in your cabinet. It's things that you have. Mm. You know, a box of uh, cayenne pepper kosher price is about five hundred. The Heinz. That's that's the brand I normally buy because it's always on special. Mm. You know, cinnamon, paprika. You don't have to cook with your spices. You can use your herbs. There's bay leaves. Mm. If you have flu, you can take. Um, the menthol leaves, what do they call them? If you, you boil them and you drink, mm -hmm. it's gone. Most of the things you're saying, I don't even know them. Yeah, and they're there. I'm, I'm, just, I'm like, nodding I'm my you. head. I'm nodding my if head, and <laughs> people are thinking, I get it and I understand. Actually, I, I don't. I, I was clueless yeah. until I went through. Um, I think information is important, man. My people die because, because, of, because lack of, of lack knowledge. of knowledge. Had I known this mm. before amputation, mm. trust me. I wouldn't be in this position. Yeah. But thank God I'm alive to mm. help you. Mm. You see, so you don't have to go through what I went through. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Botali, me, I love food. Everything's one of five things, It is, it 
it actually heals a lot of things. It it heals if you if you Google fasting, there's intermediate fasting, there's mm. you know, if you Google what fasting does, especially for your brain. Mm. It's something that I discovered I think a few few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. There's another doctor, I forgot his name, he teaches about fasting. Uh, there's what they call 18 hours and there's one and a half a day fasting. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot with, um, in future, you know, you avoid things like your Alzheimer's, memory loss. Mm -hmm. They forget their own children. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's something that is cost by sugar. Mm -hmm. But you can reverse that, cut fasting and other health. So if you start now, you know, rather suffer now and enjoy in the future. When you're in your 80s, your 90s, mm, mm. if you are still 80s, you know, you can do things that, but when you're at your age, they die. Mm. You see, you can avoid the heart attack, the stroke, you know. Yeah. So it, it's important to eat right. It's important to, I know it's, it's, it's not easy. Even Difficult, with me, yeah. I'm, I fight a lot with myself. This morning, I was like, don't eat potatoes. And I'm like, it looks nice. <laughs> it looks delicious. Yeah. And you know, when my mom cooks smashed potatoes, mm. you know, he puts a little bit of grandma and milk mm. and onions and there's that, just th that creamy taste. I'm like, yeah. don't eat those. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Don't eat those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you argue with yourself for the man, Maria don't. Mm. So it's, 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 Quite challenging. It's okay. quite challenging, especially if you, if you publicly say, "I'm on this side," mm. people expect you. Right, in six months, that was on. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> like, yeah. So it's challenging, and the devil comes, mm. whisper things to you. That this is not for you. Just eat when time, when time to die comes. Die, you know. So it's, it's a battle. It's a constant battle. But what I love about the word of God is that it says you need to renew your mind. Mm. One of the, 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 the ways to buy without money is to start your own uh, summer garden. They call it summer garden. Mm. Backyard. You can plant your own spinach, plant your own cabbage, plant your own onions, you know, your own sweet potatoes, whatever that you want to plant. Mm -hmm. You only have to buy each packet of seeds just once. Mm. Just what they call bigger cabbage. Yeah, yeah. We like the camona. 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 You know, just a whole lot of things you can do for yourself. And avocado pit. I want avocado pit. Yeah. It kills a whole lot of diseases. So you, that, not, you eat it as it is? No, you remove the brown thing, mm -hmm. you grate it, mm -hmm. and then we we'll eat it. Okay. Maybe for some Haramita or Vila, for five minutes, we drain it, drain it. Is it? It's so wh wh what are the benefits in, in that? Oh, a lot. Your eyes, your brain, your lungs, your kidneys. I just uh, saw another video. Um, I don't know how true it is, mm -hmm. but I want to try it. My kakala, ah, sweet potato. So I can't After peeling your sweet potato, you don't get rid of those. Mm -hmm. And I'll just boil them. You drink one cup a day. They say it has a lot of benefits. I'm yet to <laughs> research yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. So it's just a lot. It's a lot of things that you can do for yourself that yeah. doesn't require you to pay charity energy like what we pay for our medical aid. Mm. It's a lot of things that you can avoid as well for future purposes to avoid them and teach the young ones. So I don't have anything against Patro, I don't. You don't use Patro? I don't have anything against oh, it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything against it, but one needs to watch the amount yeah. of oil. Mm. If you chips by the fry, the Russian by fry, the archa, the the ziana, you know. Mm -hmm. So you you make your own calculations. Yes. I hope you eat the food that we bought. Eh? Mm -hmm. You eat the starch, 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 carbohydrates, carbohydrates, good for you. Okay. So you can you can just make your own calculations. Okay, I'm Myra Wilson. Then the next thing, Nike Lal Bat Lovariksha. People are making money out of Patlo Nike Lal Don't mm. say Myra R. Mm. You know. And the, another thing that I remember from primary, they used to say, one cup a day keeps the doctor away. Mm. You see. 
Apple, like the apples are one, one, one apple, one in a bag. Not five. Or, yeah, no, everything in moderation. Mm. Yeah, even wh- whatever that is good, if you eat too much of it, it's not, it's not okay. Mm. So you can just eat one apple, one banana, or salina muni. So just try to eat a, a balanced diet. Mm. You know, um, two boiled eggs with an avocado and a portion of spinach or mushrooms. You know, feed your body good things. Don't just eat meat, 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 meat. I love, I love meat. Cold drink, cold drink, cold drink. Yeah, cold <laughs> drink, I. Butale is the one that drinks a lot of uh, <laughs> caffeine. Butale, you had, Yo, you must stop with this caffeine man. thing. Caffeine is not no, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and Pastor Mike shared, shared a status uh, on Facebook. Uh, another guy was saying, uh, caffeine is not good for your salvation. <laughs> uh, too much of it. Yeah. Too much of it. I know I know when I had too much To try the avocado thing, I think I'm gonna buy it today. Yeah, don't just throw away the pig. So, uh, how, how much water is it? Do we have like yeah, a, in a, in a cup? In coffee, in a coffee so, bag. I I grate that thing, then I put hot water, put hot water in it. Yeah, I don't boil it, I just you put can, hot water just for a few minutes, just for a few minutes. Yeah, then, but the, water, the, the water must be the size of the cup. Yeah. Like here, if it's, it's it's a big one, here like a one liter jug. Okay. Jug, yeah. Yes. I can create her like you can take a more food boiling water. Mm. Wait for it to cool, drain the the residues, then drink. Mm. Yeah. The matakala ah transakwab. Hanyan au a a au khal au khal yar. So you need to take at least half uh, half a cup, mm. and then maybe you can. Uh, take half a cup again in three days. Mm. So Abu Hali. They okay. also have anti cancer cells, you know. Mm. A whole lot of them they put for your skin. At at I most of the my events I don't put makeup. Mm. I only put makeup when I do kids shows mm. because makeup is available with me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I I I I just trust your skin sack, I got look at it. Um, mm. Apart from the fact that I, I don't have a pro skin problem, but what I drink, it helps. Mm. Helps a lot. Mm. I think I should uh, start, you know, yeah, taking adjust, care of myself. Adjust, adjust. You know, I was so skinny, man. I was wearing size 28. Yeah. It's only yeah. recent. It started <laughs> maybe in 20. No, I don't like, I'm not saying people should be skinny, eh? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> the reason why I'm like this is because, you know, yeah, it's you, good need, thing. you need to check the to check your liver. You may find out that yeah, it's fatty. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a fatty liver, you are most likely to be like me, you will look up. All the fat, yeah. Uh, yeah. Must pray. Uh, no, and just make nice. your own research. <laughs> we can't pray about everything. About everything. <laughs> Meaning <laughs> that you cannot be praying about things that you're supposed to take action. Yeah. You see? Mm. So, uh, as much as you, you, you need to pray, but I only say, take care of the natural part. No one's going to take care of it for, for mm. you. Take care I must look into it, man. Yeah, I'm going to start the journey. Slowly, yeah. joining me, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm eating nice. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> you must leave that switch thing, the lemon dry switch, oh. man. You must leave and it it's alone. nice, man. Very oh, nice. the dry lemon one is nice, yeah. trust me. This guy, every Sunday is there. I'm like, my guy, you must drink water at least. Um, no, I Listen, I, I used to be addicted to that thing. No. You need to drink not more than three yeah, liters a day. Like a day. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. Yeah, clear, clear, clear. Yes, yes. So the urine must not be clear, clear. I don't have a problem with that. It just shows I don't have. Uh, My problem is the liver. So, how should I drink like the water then? 
She don't she like said take two, two and half liters to three liters a day, mm. but not all at once. Yeah. Not like all at once. You like can take one cup after two hours, take one cup, three or two hours again. You know, just throughout the day, you need to be drinking it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't understand the score. So, every three liters, I'm thinking, ah, I must put the bucket here. <laughs> then I'm like, no, okay. I'm off. In that way, I don't know what you use. Yeah. And you'll end up in the. It's like yeah. anything to do with water. So rather drink, yeah, everything in moderation. Moderation. Gosh, you know, I'm young. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking about food now. <laughs> good one too. No, 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 no. All right. Yeah, let's get to, yeah. Let's get to the good stuff. Sorry to cut you off, you know, but no, I'm so no. excited uh, to have you on the show. Yeah, I just wanted to. Uh, the reason why I started about that, you know, I just wanted the education in mm-hmm. there so that people can be able, you know, to learn and and, and take care of their health, myself included, you yeah. know. Uh, 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 so. I felt like this thing for a while, you know, especially when I drink like the um, acid and stuff like Every that. Drink, you know, yeah. Even when I drink like coffee, you know, coffee gives you like um, what again this thing? No, not necessarily heartburn, but like it's uh, like what they say? Palpitation. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like it's uh, yeah. So yeah, so I, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink acid at all. You know, these are just some of the things that I said, you know what, I'm just going to leave that then. The only yeah. acid you're allowed to drink is uh, apple cider vinegar. Mm-hmm. Oh. One spoon every morning oh. is good to drink. Okay. Yeah. The energy that you're getting from the coffee. I'll get it from one, the Yeah, one spoon. Mm. But as long as I have your contact, you just guide me through it so that we can <laughs> check. Uh, I'm taking a g- new journey, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm focusing. All right. Today. We'll see you in a year. No, today. <laughs> yeah, I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so today, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the good stuff, uh, yes, uh, 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 my sister. Let's talk about you know uh, your music journey. That's the one thing oh, that yeah. I'm so interested in. I think you you have like a, a lot of stories to tell in terms of that. And when did the 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 Mr. Bashal, when did the bug bite you? Yeah, <laughs> that English that I'm looking for. When when when, when did that start, and how has it been for you? Um, I started singing when I was very young. Mm. I think I used to go with my mother to choir practice when I was just a baby. Mm-hmm. You know, and I used to force to stand with them in front when they sing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I used to cry. Ah, I came here and sang with you, so I want to stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I've always been that little girl who is not afraid of the stage. Mm, mm. It's only now I don't even know why. Mm. And uh, yeah, I started there. But professionally, uh, so to speak, I started when I was in high school. Mm. I joined the South African Pretoria State Theatre Youth Choir. Mm-hmm. That's where I started. And then the love for music grew from there. Mm. Um, because there it was professional, you know, when you are uh, mixed with Makua, mm, mm. but I was telling him all those things, and mm. you can't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I think it's it's talent that uh, got me, you know, in such places, because mm. I couldn't even speak for myself. Mm, mm. I could just say, hello, how are you? Fine, I could thank you. That's myself. it. Yeah, <laughs> that's as far as I could go. Yeah. You know, so it's just talent that pushed me, because... You spot it like someone from Kusolo. I oh, know you can sing, man. I have a choir that I joined, so 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 so. And I thought it was just too mm. too classy for me. You mm. know, I'm from mm. township. I I I, I hate uh, uh, making example here mm. You know, it's 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 a bad example. Yeah. Um. But however, I I worked with them a lot before mm. Kitla Kla Moko Okay. So a lot of discipline to 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 deal from. That mm-hmm. side because I was mm-hmm. doing classic. Oh. Yeah, and, and the Kopala what opera. What kind of opera? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's funny, the Kopala opera. Before you know? the yeah. gospel. Before gospel, before jazz. Because I didn't just come straight to gospel. Mm-hmm. I did secular. Mm-hmm. 
Um, just after class, uh, classes, I met um, a lady uh, called Eunice. Then Eunice introduced me to a whole lot of Jewish artists mm -hmm. that I worked with. Eunice, I met her for tapes, just when I was starting to do mm -hmm. baking vocals for, because that was the first guy that I did baking vocals for. Oh, you know, okay. first, uh, before tapes, I did a solo album mm. that didn't really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. It was a good album though. Mm. It didn't because there were there was contractual disputes there oh. in English I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get, like, contractual disputes. Mm, mm. So yeah, uh, we decided to you know, part ways or more I get it one more and then when I met Tabs I met Eunice because Eunice had come to do baking vocals for Tabs as well. Then mm. Eunice introduced me to the Secular jazz, uh, mm. Afro pop. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I worked with a whole lot of artists here. Pindamza, I worked with Mimin Jali, Buli. I did studio sessions for a lot of artists. Mm. I worked with Maduba Madine. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I worked with a lot of artists, a lot. And that's where my experience with jazz is coming from. Mm. Then. When I was working with Tabs, you know, Tabs said to me, how about you record me? Mm. And then I agreed, you know, because I knew that as much as I'm doing other, you know, genders, gospel is the one that, uh, before she ministered, I'm a Tom Wong's minister to me. Yeah, yeah. Before Popular, I'm a Tom Wong's, I'm very easy, she said nothing. Mm, mm. Then I said, you know what, yeah, yeah maybe let me do it, let's see what happens. We worked and yeah, it, it did well at that time. <laughs> so yeah. it's still a good album. I still listen to it. I still get a lot of um, inboxes concerning the album. Why don't you record another one similar to this one? Mm. Yeah, so that's... So the, the album that you, 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 you're speaking about that you recorded, you recorded with, with Tabs. Mm -hmm. That's the album you're speaking about. The one the that... First, you first, first. The no, first, first. The first one. I recorded it with a guy called Witness Sinclair. How many albums did you record? Two. Two albums. The first one you did with who? Witness Sinclair. Witness Sinclair. That was yeah. that was the Yeah. That was the record label that they signed you to. to yeah, Witness Sinclair was the record label owner. The record label owner. That's yeah. the one that had like contract issues and whatnot. Yeah. In that. Yeah. So what took place in that? What was like? What was the main deal? What What, what did you guys agree on? If you can recall, I don't remember much. I, I was a child. Mm. I don't think I was 21. I don't mm. remember much. Um, but I just didn't like the way I was treated, mm. especially when they now started having other artists because I was the only artist in that store. Yeah. Then they had other artists coming in, artists coming in, and um, I felt like now that there are people who are doing better. Mm. And I'm being treated like I don't matter. No. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I, I'm one confrontational person. Mm. If I mm. don't like something, I don't spiritualize it. Mm. I come to you <laughs> and say this and this and this doesn't work for me. Mm. I see you in the Because I'm I, I give not how I need to, but here I need. If we do something or I shop. I'm gonna come straight to you. I need to learn to let so 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 and you can't. So that's me. Yeah, so that to clear this shit. Everything right. before we move, we move yeah. forward. Yeah, before we move forward. So I I told him, I said, I'm not happy about one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like this is how you're treating me and I don't like it. Mm -hmm. You know, and and yeah, but we decided to part ways. Yeah, I asked for for him to just, you know, to allow me to go. Mm. Yeah, I was a baby, but I was not, I was not happy. Mm. You know, I could see my little bit for Alisa Mike after that as well. You know, though I'm not mature enough to understand some of the things, but yeah, but we're friends and I would call each other. You know, I still call him daddy even now, mm. you know, but I'm not saying he was the one who was wrong. Mm. You no, know, I, I was a child. There were things I didn't do right. Yeah, yeah, you know the things I did not understand, and then I blamed him. Mm. You know, and Kanzli and I, he was just doing what you know 
a producer or a record label owner is supposed to be doing. Mm. And mm. I felt that they did that for me. So mm. Lena, he's not entirely to be blamed you know, mm. for our issues. Lena, you know, that there's a part I played. Yeah. Yeah. So we learned from her story, then we move on. Then I recorded an, an album with Club. Mm. So, so how was how was how was the experience from Club o to Ted? The transition. Since I was a bit mature, mm. I, I knew what I was getting myself into. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we, we, we enjoyed working together. You okay. know, we enjoyed working together. Ted is a good man. Mm. He's, he's a very good businessman. He's sharp. Mm. You know, he's very he's a very sharp man. Yeah. So <laughs> when you work with Ted guaranteed he's going to learn a lot of things, yeah. especially concerning business. Mm. He's going to learn a lot of things. Um, how to conduct yourself, how to carry yourself as mm. an artist, how to, especially as a gospel artist. Yes. There's not even one scandal about it. Yeah. Not even one. But I when you are a tech, you will be a guy, you will be a guy, or you will be a guy, you will be a guy, or you will be a guy. He said, try for God's sake. So, yeah, so, so those were some of the difficult things that I had to learn, because, you know, we're from different backgrounds and we all have our ways. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, and I'm not going to act as if I, I'm clean or I have a clean background. Mm. No, I don't. Mm. You know, but I learned a lot from him. So yeah. from that point on, I knew that this is how I'm supposed to carry yourself. Yes. And yes. So I, I, I learned, that was one of the things I learned from Ted and hard work. Mm. Hard work, see? We must, must get to follow the man. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Hopefully, he will get to see this. He will. We, we he will. Get to I'll send him the link. Yeah, we, we are inviting <laughs> you, uh, Tabs, <laughs> to come on the show he will. He will. <laughs> and, and, and talk to us. You know, uh, Dogozo mentioned him as well, and you also mentioning him. So, yeah. and there's yeah. a lot, of, lot, lot more coming who are going to mention him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it seems to be a genuine guy that ah, really, really loves you know, the gospel. He's a good man. Loves Human mm. beings are not perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's one of those good men. Mm. You know, he put everything on the table. This is how it's going to work. You know, you decide whether you want to work or you don't. Mm. You know, but unfortunately, time came and we had to part ways with it. Yeah. So, but yeah. So your 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 second album, how how well did it do? It did well, eh? Mm. I am Myra because of that album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And because of one song, really, Faithful. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, wherever I go, they expect me to sing that song. And I'm like, I'm tired of this song. Yeah. It's almost 20 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if, if it is a song based on the word of God, you know, the word of God, I mean, the Bible was written like ages ago yeah. by, by the, the prophets of old. Even today, it's still relevant. The words it that is. Paul spoke, you it know, is. it is a word that was now directly coming mm. from God. So even that with the song, I feel like it is something that is nurtured. It is centered on Jesus mm. Christ. So, yeah, it, it can true. never get old in the heart of people. Even if, never. Even if they play it today, they're like, wow, this song blesses me so much, you know. So I think it... And especially it, because it's, you know, songs of exhortation. Yes. They are telling God who he is. Yes. It's, 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 it's quite big, you know. Mm. You, you, mm. Can't, you can't miss such a song. Yes. So a song that tells God directly who he is, mm. it's, yeah. It speaks to the, to God to him directly. To our, our own, our own, our own, our own. Yeah, yeah. So mm. songs of exaltation are just yeah. They they don't go out of fashion. Mm. <laughs> no, but yeah, they don't. Mm. So you know. w what are we doing now? W w what's where is my? I'm I'm doing theater. Hey? I'm hiding. Yeah, actually. Yeah. I enjoy theater. W but why are you hiding now? Hey, theater. I'm in, I almost feel like I'm not mm. but you're doing well, mm. you know, in yeah. terms of, you know, you're taking care of. Yeah. Theater, it's straightforward. I don't struggle from gig to gig. Kilola di Laina, for Mang Mang, it's supposed to come after Mang Mang. Mang Mang is, you know, you know that we could go be the Halang. Even in, even in, in gospel. Oh, come on. <laughs> in the gospel industry, where God ah, is supposed to be ah, you know, the center of everything. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of that. I yeah. got tired of Hushani mm. I got tired. And I, I, I told myself I can't live from gig to gig. Mm. Mm. 
So with theatre, you're given a one month or two month contract, mm. and the salary is like that. Mm. Well, so this is this is how much you're going to get, mm. and that's it. I show you fell up, you go home. You don't fight with anybody. Yeah. With gigs, I eat gigs. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> They will invite you and tell you, hey, this gig is paying this much, especially weddings. Yeah. I, my yellow man, yeah. this gig is paying this much. And now we don't, have, we don't even have enough to pay you guys. You send me an invoice, ne? Mayra, you send me an invoice as well. I, I'm telling you. Yes. Before I walk out of this place. Yeah. <laughs> we are here and we are just, you know, even the mic, you can uh, see, right? This guy is, what's going on <laughs> here? <laughs> so you I, see? I just got tired of that life, you mm. know, I got tired. And I felt like I was waiting, eh? mm. but I was not making good money. Yeah. Yeah, I was not making good money. You know, I cannot do things right the way I want them to be done. Because mm. obviously, if I, if I put a promotion, Sometimes you are disappointed. Exactly. So let me pay things. Mm. And then if anything goes wrong, I only have myself to blame. Mm. You see? Mm. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rebuilding my life. I'm planning on, I've been saying this for the past, I don't know, five, six, seven years, mm -hmm. that I want to record an EP, but I felt like it wasn't the right time. Mm. Even now, I'm not sure. But there are songs I, I have written, I have songs about six of them, I sh I'm sure. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, if, if the opportunity arises, if somebody comes and says, here's the cash, go and do a recording, mm -hmm. why not? Because sometimes as an artist, you are a recorder and you don't get your money back. Yeah. And then that's where you start fighting with people. No, I gave you this much, I expected you to do this. Mm. Now, and music business is not like any other business, mm. you know. But not tell you are not sure if it's going to come back. So if it's someone else's money, the pressure on the global, the my money must come back, you mm. know, because that person made the business better. Yes. You know, so, so those are the those are the things they've been dealing with for all these years. You know, mm. go to church, go to school, just just sit at home and and not fight with. Mm. The music Over business China, needs a lot of money, eh? Yeah. It's music, music industry, I love it hard. It's music business that you need to understand. Mm. The business yeah, side yeah, of things. Yeah, I think, and I also think that, I don't know if it's just me, because mm -hmm. me, I come from a hip hop uh, background uh, together with, uh, with Patali. Mm -hmm. um, learning the business side of things takes, I feel, personally for me, I feel like it takes away the creativity in the artist, mm -hmm. per se, because you're focused more on this side than on this side is also like lacking. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can also, you can maybe do an album, the first album obviously can be like the best album of you because you've invested so much from your, you know, the background where you're from, you just want to do great things. Normally, mm -hmm. the first album sounds better of an artist, the second album you like, we're not sure where you're going and the third album comes maybe give them life again so mm -hmm. when you focus on the business side of things the creativity it's mm -hmm. kind of like you know lacking in a way that's like no, that's how i really. see it not really I, 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 i'd say you have to have the knowledge mm -hmm. but when it comes to his schedule like you have mm -hmm. daily things yeah you can't be uh, focusing on zero that creativity uh, I mean, the business side mm -hmm. and creativity is so, it was safari a bit, mm. you know, because let's say you, you are required to rehearse mm. the whole day, you need to rehearse, but if you're worried about the business, obviously, uh, a rehearsal is going to it's suffer. Gonna, yeah. So what you can do is have knowledge about the music business, mm. but have someone that you can delegate to take care of this for me, this paperwork needs to be done, yeah. send this to OEG. Mm -hmm. You have to have that person who will help you. Exactly. I yeah. feel like that's, that's, that's like what I, I did then, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm the person that would, would, would have like so many ideas mm -hmm. and 
implement those things, you know, mm -hmm. like having a mic like this, having a, a computer like that. Well, I can type and do other things, you know, mm -hmm. certain things here. But to know where this mic goes and whatnot, Bukhali has to show me, okay, we can put it here, record like this, you know. Mm -hmm. I can, I'm a person that can buy mm -hmm. the whole setup. But for me to actually put it together, yeah, you, you need know, someone to need someone to actually do that. Even though I can have that little bit of knowledge, but I feel like it's too much work for yeah, me. Yeah, it's too much work. Yeah, so I'm Hence just the saying no man is an island. Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. So you need to have people to to help you. Yeah, like understanding the music business now. I have a nephew, very intelligent boy. Mm. He's teaching me about things I never thought they exist. Mm. He's teaching me about the music business, making an example about. Uh, big figures like Beyonce, uh, this is what she does when she wakes up, this is what she does. She, I'm like, oh, this is too much for me. Mm. So when he comes, he comes with that information. Mm. You know, so like, this is what my Patrick is doing now. It's so, so he keeps me updated. Mm. So like, even though I'm, you know, history in the yeah. music industry, but at least, you, you know, this is how people run their business these days. You have to be on this uh, media platform. You have to be on this social. And you have to, you know. So he's, he's teaching me a whole lot of things. By the time people mm. were, at least seventy percent of the knowledge that he covered, mm. I'm like starting from, wow, 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 and I don't even know what, what is Spotify because yes, yes. Kind of no, no, no Spotify, yeah, no, yeah. no YouTube, what what music. Mm. There was none of these things existed except mm. for me to, you know, type to, to serve a CD mm. to, 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 to my clients. What I'll do is that I'll stand for starting and selling CDs. I'm selling CDs, 100 grams they buy. Mm. That's my bread, you know. But now they are blogging me with more news. Yeah. You know, they're, 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 you they're know, they're 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 they know this YouTube thing. I'm telling you. So yeah. I have to have someone to, to educate me. Who, okay. This is what you're going to do, yeah. and this is how you're going to benefit from it. Mm. So, so that hey, Kitla, I can expect you and take you say, kissing, kissing, shock. I know, yeah. I know okay, mm. this is this is what's going to happen now. Mm. So, he shared the letter because I've been, hey, I think it's the album in 2010. That's a long time ago. Yeah, that's a long time ago. I bumped into someone, but I'm like, you look familiar. Mm. What do you do, Kira? I say, hello, oh, yeah, you my uh, I used to listen to your music back in the day. I was like, back in the day? <laughs> Has it been that long? <laughs> so they say back in the day, now you're a legend, actually. Back Just in be putting me in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day, you're talking about Brenda Fast. Hey. Oh, uh, am I that old? <laughs> I was like, no, I need to do an album. Yeah, you need <laughs> so to get back in the studio. Oh, I remember back in the day, I was so hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a long time, it's 2010. It is, it's true. That made me ready to sit down and be like, oh, what? They it's want been, people to remember you. Can it was ever back in the day? Mm. You know, can it, you know, one hit wonder, you know, those artists yeah. just came and boom, and then they left. Yeah. You know, your Puff Johnson, he, she gave us a nice album, then we asked, why is Pap Johnson? The next thing, Pap Johnson passed away. How? Hey, man. You know, so I'm not going to be one of those. Mm. <laughs> I said, I'm going to release it. I'm going to release it soon. When will that be then, if you say you're going to? If it's not, if it's not this year, it mm. will be next year. But can, we, can we have a call it between you and Togozo, Tera? Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's do why that. Hey, I just, I just, I just really <laughs> <laughs> did something. Why not? I At least I don't, I don't have, I don't have the check, but you know, I did something. <laughs> I'm gonna have a, a great, a great I song. Don't. Yeah, mm. if you can do a song, let's do it. Yeah, let's let's. You know. Togozo, we are doing it, ne? We are doing it. Let's work. <laughs> let's work. Let's put in the EP there. Uh, make know. sure that you guys give do us a song. the budget. <sighs> <sighs> I have to breathe heavy. Connect us with someone who has the budget. I can connect with someone who has a studio. That one I can do. I know a guy. Yeah. Can I put it on the channel as well, on the Faith Podcast channel? Yeah, you can share it. You can share. I can put it on the on, on the channel. Yeah. Uh, we're declaring Dogodo Taylor featuring Myra Skosane. They're gonna have a collab. I'm just gonna pay for that song. Yeah, then right. I have a guy that has studios, and we're gonna organize that. I want. So we are good to go. Yeah, I love that. I love that. We we'll just do the feature, man. Why one, Yeah. Benjamin. Do we know?
so please keep, keep moody low. <laughs> yeah, and I think that would be will make a will make a, a great thing. Will make a yeah, great I great think great color. Sure well. Yeah, let's do that, man. I think you just uh, you just need to come back. Uh, um, what we you have a YouTube channel, man? No, I don't. You don't. No, you, you must. Don't. Try me. Am I on YouTube? Your music is on YouTube, but you're on YouTube. Who's eating? Who's eating, man? I I I checked you I on know. YouTube, but it's there. Even my first album. Yeah. Oh, people well, are enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So what you must do, we can help you do that. We can help you create a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and rebrand, you know, the whole Facebook. Uh, Facebook. You know. Do you have Twitter? You're on Twitter. No, I have, have uh, Instagram. Twitter account. Instagram you have. Yeah, have and it's just TikTok. No. I think it's we must do that. Easy for me. No, even if, 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 even with me, like I'm not a social media like person mm -hmm. per se, but I created all these platforms so that when the podcast grows, the network grows, we can mm -hmm. have someone that can handle that department of social media. You know, there's just people that manage social media. Okay. As an artist, you can have someone that manages your whole account and everything. They post for you, whatever you release, they do that for you. You just okay. have to have those accounts. Even right. as as faith podcast, we we do have those accounts. I'm not a social media person. So we just, when we grow, we just want to have that person that will say, okay. you know what, just handle this department of mm -hmm. social media, post whatever it is that, that we do. So I think you should create the, the YouTubes and everything. And once you have grown to uh, a place where you can say, you know what, I want you to come, help me with this social media mm -hmm. uh, thing, that's when um, you can actually grow. Because even when people need to like book you, some will have to send you a DM of some sort. Mm -hmm. you know? So your email will be there on social media, you know, myraskosan at whatnot, you know, dot com, then you'll be able to send you a DM, you put your number there as well. Social media is like the quickest way of people getting um, hold of, of, of someone. I think we, yeah. we can help with that. Because I, I sh I'm, I'm just too hectic to no, focus on. We, we'll do that. We can, we can create okay. those things for you. Uh, you're actually forcing me to be... To be an artist, you it? have to. <laughs> we need to hear voices like that. Yeah, it's you have to be in the scene. Yeah, no, I need. I think I need to come out of my comfort zone because I have found a hiding place. So. No, you must come <laughs> out. You have to come out. Yeah. This podcast, we we are bringing you back. Yeah, I was hiding myself. Yeah, you must, yeah. you must come back. Uh, but Charlie, let's do that, man. The YouTube and everything and all. So when you fully like, you know, develop mm -hmm. everything, you're gonna create a Gmail. You have a Gmail, also, a Gmail account. I'm just asking. I'm checking. I'm checking if what we do, you know. Then we're gonna do that. Then we make sure that you, we do that for you. You must also take the album because is it gonna be breach of contract? The album that is on YouTube will be part of a contract. Look, I don't own the rights to. to oh, you don't own the. Hence, I don't even know that they're on YouTube. Oh, okay. I that don't one own the you rights. Can, can can know it's fine. But with this with rights. this one, let's let's do the EP. Yeah, let's do the EP. EP is on all my mm. known. But the guy I'm gonna EP. introduce you to, I mean, is is he's not is not gonna, you know, charge a lot. Look, uh, he's, a, he's a good guy. Who the the guy you're going to yeah. introduce me to? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've already spoken to some people, mm -hmm. and we we had like dreamers, mm -hmm. but with this one of yours. Let's do it differently, yeah. like you said. Yeah, yeah. Just Definitely. so that you can keep it. No, I'm there. I'm, I'm <laughs> keeping my promise. I'm yeah, no, my it's right. so we are doing a, a singer. <laughs> we're gonna do a singer. Yeah. Uh, we've been, we've been, we've been here for long. Eh? I think we are close to an hour. Oh, so close to an oh, hour. And I haven't said much. Eh? I yeah. want to talk about two things. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. We I just touched on much. a couple of things. I just want to talk about your experience on on Joyous. Where you I, I haven't been on Joyous. Where have you been? No choir for me. No choir. This one. It was a way. Where did you say you were the backing? Oh, it was a Taps David recording. Taps David recording. The faithful. The fa You were the faithful. The first oh, version. The first version. He had a choir. Oh. Yes, yeah. So that was your song. No, I was featured. You were featured, featured on the song. Yes. Oh. It was the two of us actually. Maria. Uh, she left the music. 
completely. Yeah, yeah, completely. She went and. What is wrong with this music thing? Um, the gospel. It's it's it's. Is it draining that much? Um, we have to be called for it. <laughs> that was the thing you won't say. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, with with Miriam, she 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 has a family, so mm. uh, this thing you all travel like, every time, and and she was saying to Miriam, yeah. Then when we started singing, it's a challenge they were missing image, mm. you know. But because she had a family, you see, it was a bit draining to mm. for her. But we were fine. I mean, that's that was the rate at that time. Mm. So I can't say they were not paying us. They were. But it wasn't enough for somebody who had a friend. So if, okay, if you were to charge me now for this, how would Oh, you? charge you for this. Mm. Yeah, because with other podcasts, they pay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but no, I, d- I don't charge. I wouldn't charge you. Yeah. I wouldn't charge you. But if maybe a normal gig, mm. yeah, with churches. We're gonna pay, we were going to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. <laughs> How's the budget? How's the budget? Is it 12 o'clock midnight or does it have uh, something? You're gonna pay. <laughs> you're gonna pay. No, no what, what we want to do, me and the clan, mm-hmm. we want to grow this platform to a point where we are able to you know, do gigs as well, you know, bring people together oh, nice. so that you know, we can have um, a spirit-filled festival you know, where we invite artists that are caring you know, as Ntogozi was saying, that that are coming from a prayer place, not mm-hmm. just because you are known and you attract oh, yeah. people. Yeah. We don't want that. We don't want. We that. we 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 do gospel music for different reasons. Yeah. You know, and I can't say I yeah yeah children and children. I can't. That's challenge to who why Ali. Yeah. Why I have gospel, mm. but I know with me it's you know. It's not just, it's not just work. Mm. I have a gig, mm. I have a job, mm. and that's another job that I have to do. Yeah. Um, I tried everything to mm. walk away from it. Everything, trust me, I tried everything to walk away from it. But I can't, you know. Mm. Calling is something that it keeps, you know, yeah, you must know that. Yeah. yeah, you know you are called when over and over to open, and they are not doing things by mm. chance. You want to, you know, grab grab the water. Yeah. Sorry, I want to learn the language of India. You know, because once you 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 come to a point where you decide, well, this is not for me. Mm. This is similar to what we for others. Because our job is to just point people to Jesus, mm-hmm. the, the Savior that you know wants you to come into His kingdom. Exactly. That's our job. Yeah. Other than that, we are just doing our own thing. Mm-hmm. For me, music is is ministry. Definitely. Yeah. For me, Definitely. music is ministry. That's why I'm not I'm not really moved whether I get a gig or I don't because mm-hmm. it's not even about money. Yeah. You know. Uh, people ask me why did you go to Bible college? Why was you more Why you don't you start your own ministry? Mm. It's not that. Mm. I went there to learn how to serve mm. better in yeah. the ministry that I'm in. Mm. Mm. You know, I I know what I'm called to do. Mm. I know what God has laid in my heart. Exactly. I know what God has said to me. Mm. So it's that's why I'm not moved by awards. How many albums? Mm. Mm. Listen, Clayman. I saw you at the uh, status. Gospel Crown. Uh, oh yes, mm. yes. How was that? Um, it was it was quite good. Mm. It was quite good. It, I enjoyed it. Eh? Yeah. Seeing all. Well, you went stage there, eh? so it's sort of like you went stage. Were you singing? Yeah, I, I I I performed. Oh, I performed. Okay. They actually asked me to come and perform. I was I was called by the Department of Sports Arts and Culture. You're a superstar. <laughs> the also gave me my number actually. Is it? That's why I said to, to her, I spoke to her, I think about wow. two months. Now I couldn't recognize her, but I mm. spoke to her over the phone. Mm. So they asked, uh, don't you know someone? Those of us, no, I know my right, she, she has an amputated hand now. Mm. So I was called to come and represent the people who are living with disability. Oh, yeah, okay. So I, I sang there. Mm. It, was, it was 
a nice experience. Wow. It was a nice experience. No, uh, my I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thank God for you, and I thank God no. for your life. Ah, this has been so a, a great experience, thank though so we don't have the budget. To, you know, <laughs> it's not even yeah, about that. But we thank God that you really came yeah. on this on this podcast, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, uh, it's genuine that I'm gonna do the, the in terms of the collab. Thank you so much, Yeah, thank we you just so gotta much. sort it out to make sure that we bring you back into the into the into the music we need yeah. we need your voice that is if i want to come back <laughs> no we need your voice we need your voice people are going to hear this uh the song is going to is going to be available on the podcast on the, on the channel as well yeah. even on the on their 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 their, their, their channel as well it's going to be available on my yeah. and on, on the uh, 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 youtube channel as well make sure that you, you you follow them where can people get a hold of you in terms of like i'm um, now i'm on instagram I'm just Myra Kosama. Mm -hmm. I am on Facebook, Myra Favors Kosama. Yeah. Yeah, it's Maria Favors Kosama. Okay. On Facebook, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can leave my number. Yeah, you can. You can. Please yeah, do. it's 074 mm -hmm. 800 All right. That's where they can yeah. get hold of you if yeah, they want you to me. come and sing. Call me. I don't have a manager. I don't have a middle man. I just call me. It's guys. just you alone. <laughs> you are now independent. No kingdom minded people. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's people that love money. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, for now, no, I'm, I'm not signed to any record label. Okay. If you want me to come and do help teaching, if you want me to come and minister through songs, mm -hmm. yeah, um, call me. All right. Uh, I, I wanted to ask Mtogozo to leave a note, but I reckon I'll have to pay thousands for that as well. <laughs> I wanted to ask you to leave a note as well, but you know, uh, we'll have that for part two. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Myra Skosane, uh, thank you so much, uh, Women of God. Welcome. Thank you for coming on the show. We're still growing. Hopefully, when we, you know, we have like. Uh, yeah, Papa. when we have grown, don't yeah. forget me. We will because not. Because you guys have attendance. <laughs> <laughs> We will not forget. We will not forget. <laughs> Fortunate no, enough, like you. me and Butlali, we just have like, you know, the same energy. We're not about that, you know, mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm this, then, you know, I'm like, ah. Yeah. No, we are not like that. And I love him for actually being genuine as he is because, you know, uh, they say based of the same feathers flock together. Right? together. Yeah, me and him, we just, you know, we just genuinely like that. We're not like those kind of like. But let's get pull it a little bit here. Let your actions speak. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, let's close it off then. Let's close it off. And I uh, thank you for coming. Uh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Maras Kosane, you had a details. Thank you for having uh, me. Yeah, yeah, thank God. Mr. Batale, anything you want to say, sir? I want to say, may God continue with you. Yeah, Amen. yeah, yeah. From me to you, if God be for us, who? Can, can be, be against, against us. us. Shalom. Bye-bye. We love you. See you on the next episode.